Hey, how's it going everyone and welcome to my God of War Ragnarok 100% guide for the realm Alfheim. This guide will show you how to get all of the legendary chests, all the Nornir chests, all the artifacts, all the ravens, all of the favors, all of the rifts, and pretty much anything that counts towards 100% completion in the areas, and also the side trophies to help you get the platinum as fast as possible. I have done the guides for the other realms, they'll be coming out very shortly. If they're not out already, I'll also be releasing a guide that just shows all of the collectibles in the game. But I wanted to first release these in realms, just because this game is so big, I felt like it would be easier to digest if I just released the part in realms first if you're looking for individual collectibles you might want to check out the description for the timestamps. those are broken down into sections so if you're missing something in a certain area you can quickly jump to it and check it out and figure out how to get that a little bit quicker than rather than watching through a whole hour long video to try and find a couple of collectibles that you might be missing thank you very much for tuning in all the support on the video is greatly appreciated let's get this going all right so we're in alfheim alfheim however you want to say it Starting off with the rune reed that's right next to the mystic gateway. This one is in the strand, it's pretty much straight in front of you, the odds are. Not exactly an easy fix for that. You've probably already got that one. Broken history. So let's clear up the strand first. Go ahead and get the hell tear that's in this area. You're gonna need to go right from that rune reed. I see another realm tear from gone. There are six of these. This is the first one in this area. The numbers on the bottom left correlate to the realm. How many are in each realm. If you're missing any collectibles, the best bet is to look at the area you're missing them in, and then you can find the timestamps in the description for each area. I think that's the only hell tear in Alfheim. You're going to need to return after you've completed the story, or at least got to the bit where you go to Helheim and deal with Garm to have those about the place. So when you originally come here, that won't be there in the storyline. Quick look at the map in between each collectible, just in case you're confused as to where to go. I think that tear there glitched. I couldn't reach into it. I think it was just a glitch. It was the tear that the enemies came out of, but it wouldn't let me reach into it. So I guess it was just a bug or something. All right, so we got the first law marker that's in Alfheim. This one's called the Living Desert. Still in the Strand. It's just over here. And this one's the Living Desert. Living desert. Huh. I did do my best to get all the names for the different pieces of lore and artifacts and stuff. Just in case you are looking for a specific one. I'm not sure how you would know which one you're missing, but hopefully it helps. Alright, so we got the first Nornir chest that's in Alfheim. I have quadruple checked that all the collectibles are listed here. If the numbers are slightly askew in any area, I apologize. I should have got them right. I have tried to check them as much as I can. Um, but all the collectibles are displayed, and they're also all timestamped in the description. If you want to find a specific thing, like if you just want the ravens or the chests or whatever, you can find them all for each area timestamped in the description. When I make the video that shows the entire game's collectibles, which I'll just be compiling all of these individual videos that I'm making... Um, I don't think all the timestamps are going to fit in the description, so you might need to look in the comment section for those if you're watching that video, because I'll probably just not bother recommentating them all, I'll just compile the ones I've already done together. So if the numbers at the bottom have reset, like it's gone back to Nornia chest number one after you've completed Svartalfheim, it's because I'm just working realm by realm. So just to clarify... The numbers represent what we're doing in the realm. So this is the first Nornir chest in Alfheim. All right. So next up, we got the first Raven in this realm, which is this way. Got to hop up these ledges. Some of these Nornir chests can be kind of difficult to figure out where you've got to like break the seals or light the little fires. But I'll show all of that. I'll do my best. Especially the ones where you've got to use arrows. They're kind of difficult to get. But there's that raven just up on that branch. This is on your way to the Light Temple. You may have got some of these because they're kind of obvious while you're just following the storyline. But no, I can't guarantee what you've got and what you haven't got, so I'll just show everything. All right, we got the first artifact in Alfheim, which is a Kavasia poem. There's 14 of these to get throughout the game, and I think they're spread around the few realms. Why so surprised? 
Oh well, interrupting Kratos there, but there's the map. Not surprised. Right next to it is the first legendary chest, and in this you're going to get the light runic attack for the axe, which is Skadi's Edge. Again, doing my best to label these, so if you're after runic attacks for the axe or the blades, you can just look in the timestamps and figure out what's where. Alright, so next we've got the remnants of Asgard. You're going to have needed to complete the storyline before you can get this. So even though you may have already been to Alfheim in the storyline... If you haven't returned here after completing the game, uh, it won't be here. So yeah, you can only get this once you've beaten the main storyline. In which case, you should be with Freya when you're doing this stuff. So it's pretty much just along the normal path towards the Light Temple. But here it is, right here. Once you start fighting these guys, you just need to beat them all. And then that'll give you the completion for the Remnants of Asgard. I'm glad we can help these Ainher Yar on their way. Even if they hate us for it. They do not need to spend their afterlife serving a cruel god any longer. Agreed. Also a red chest here if you didn't grab it earlier. These don't count towards completion, but they have resources in them which are good for upgrading your gear if that's something you're after. I'll show some of them. Um, specific areas have better ones. Okay. Some really good ones in Vanaheim. But that's up next. We haven't got to that one yet. So we've got the second artifact that's in Alfheim, still in the Strand. This one's a tribute to Freya, which is a new artifact set that's exclusive to Alfheim. It's down here on the right, just next to this Nornir chest. Made by the elves for my brother. He must have found it too painful to keep. And the Nornir chest we're about to do is literally just next to that, but obviously we've got to break the seals. A charm to ward off nightmares. Need to use the spear for this. Well, knowing the elves, there are probably more tributes to find. Here's the second one. And the third one is right there. So detonate those at the same time. And there you go. I'm not sure if you need to do those at the same time. I just tend to do it while I'm in front of the chests. So I did mention this in my previous video, but if you've collected some of these, you may not get the same item out of it as I do. They either give health upgrades or rage upgrades, and depending on how many you've, you've got, it can give you either. So don't be worried if it gives you a different item out of that. Because I've literally collected none of them until making these videos. Kind of made playing through the game a little bit difficult. But yeah, we're going into the Temple of Light now. We're going to get the first lore scroll. We're going to need to come inside. And providing you've beaten the storyline... All of these doors should be open for you. I am coming back through after beating the main story, so... A lot of the pathing that you would have to do to get through these areas is already done for me. I'm assuming you're doing the same. So keep running through. This uh, first collectible is a little ways away. You have to run quite a way into the temple. We'll get there. Hopping across these. Again, this is the main path that you will take along the storyline, so you've probably been here before. The elves have the Up the stairs. Ragnarok took a brutal toll on them. They have retreated to mourn the dead. To take stock of their people. How long will the last? Some enemies here to deal with. Just some little lizards. I'm pretty sure the... <laughs> The scroll is just around here somewhere. Yeah, there it is down on the left. Enemy behind you, they won't let you pick this up until you've dealt with the enemies. That should be all of them. There we go. That's the Bifrost Bridge. Nice and easy. All right, so next up we've got the second legendary chest. We're going to have to hop down the ledge that's next to us. A couple little enemies to deal with in this area. Get rid of them. And this will give you a light runic attack for the blades. That's Hades Retribution. Good stuff. Alright. So next up we've got the second raven in Alfheim. The first one that's in the Temple of Light, I'm pretty sure. So it's over here to the right after you jump up that ledge. And you need to bounce the axe. 
off this, and that'll bounce inside and hit the Raven. Always kind of fun to do those. I feel like that's a really cool mechanic that they had some fun with when making the game. All right, so next up we've got artifact number three. We're going to need to climb up here. This is another one of Kavasir's poems. We're going to come all the way up these stairs that's just to the left after you hop up that ledge. And need to sort of spin around a little U-turn to come up here. The poem's just up here. So, which is your favorite of Kavasir's poems, brother? Why would I choose a favorite? So, yeah. So we're doing well. Not too many in the Temple of Light. Coming back down this ledge, we're going through this doorway with the bright light. By the way, I wanted to mention if it looks like the color of my video is changing at all for certain areas. It's because I've got a new capture card and I'm still working out the kinks with it. The footage should be fine. But uh, yeah, I've had to change a few settings here and there to try and get the best picture quality. So... There'll be certain areas where I've reviewed the video and seen that I've made a little mistake and had to come and re-record a little section or something. If the color contrast changes or it looks a little bit different, that's why. But the footage should be fine. I wouldn't want to put something together that you can't follow. Putting these videos together takes a long time. Right, when you come through here, we're going to need to use the axe after pulling the chain to stick it into the wall and then retrieve the axe at the right time something about here and that'll smash through the uh, chain so that you can get to the legendary chest this one has a hilt of grim in it which is a relic i'm pretty sure that there's not an achievement or trophy i keep saying achievement it's a trophy for opening all of the legendary legendary chests like the previous game had but you need to get all of the uh armor pieces or something like that to get an, a trophy and for that you're going to need to open all of the the legendary chests so there's one linked to it but not directly for opening the legendary chest i just try to make sure that i'm 100 percent in all of the areas in a realm so that we can get everything done i'm pretty sure though that the first four realms are the biggest That's uncharacteristically indecisive of you. there's another poem Pretty much just above where we got that last legendary chest. We've got another legendary chest coming up, which is the rune engraved release. So we're going to head through these doors back on the main storyline path now. Let's head down this way. Got to hop across these right here, up top. And we need to get to the other side of that locked door there. So for that, we're going to have to come back this way and then go over to the left. And then to the left again, hop across this gap, drop down here onto this ledge. And then we've got to swing this so that we can break um, the seal. This might take you a couple of attempts, but essentially you just want to swing it to the right and then throw the axe to hit the, the little... I'm, I'm not sure what you would call that. I guess we'll call it a light lock or something, and that'll break the barrier here so you can get to the chest, and then you can open the gate to get back to where you were. <coughs> Some of the puzzles they have set up to get these uh, chests and whatnot are a little bit complicated at times, especially the ones with the runic arrows. Those ones can be really frustrating to get right. So next up, we've got a Nornia chest. This is the third one that's in Alfheim. So, over here to the right, again, this is the main storyline path. You're going to have to climb up here. And we're hopping up. Okay. So, Alfheim doesn't actually have too many collectibles. I think it's got around 70 or 80, which is kind of... I mean, it's a crazy amount for a game to have in one area, to be honest. 70 or 80 collectibles is usually the amount a whole game will have. And this is one of the realms, just one of the eight realms you've got to clear. Although I think the first four realms, so that's Svartalfheim, Alfheim, Vanaheim, and Midgard are the ones that have the most collectibles in them. The rest don't actually have that many. So you're going to need to use the Sonic Arrows to uncover that one uh, chime. And you want to do them in this order that I did the second time, otherwise it probably won't let you... 
the others, the first two that I hit there reset faster than the last one I just hit. So you're going to have to do those two that are closer to the chest first and then run down that corridor and do that last one. That one has a longer cooldown to reset. Okay, there's the Nornir chest. Quick look at the map. It's not really the most useful thing in the world to look at the map sometimes, because we're just kind of looking at the top of the Light Temple, but regardless, I'll still show it. Um, maybe if you have a little bit of confusion as to where you've got to go exactly, you'll be able to find your way. Alright, so there's another Raven. That's Raven number three. Didn't look at the map just there. I looked a little bit late, but yeah, I was standing at the door and then I took a look at the map. I try my best to remember. If at any point I don't look at the map for one of the collectibles, you might just want to drop the video ahead or back a little bit so you can take a little look at the map. Sometimes I forget when I'm picking up this many. It's easy to forget if there's any really sort of tricky ones or important ones and I've missed the map, I tend to go back into the video and add a little part where I look at the map. I've done my best to do that. I do want this guide to be as accurate as possible. Um, because, yeah, so, so much work goes into these guides. Literally hours and hours of time. It's not just going in and recording them. If you can imagine if you're following a guide to get the uh, collectibles editing them also takes a ton of time. And then I've got to commentate them and upload them and everything. It takes a lot of time. So to get to this rune read, you should have already come in this room. But you might have to use these sonic arrows to drop down that thing I jumped across with the blades. Um, in case that's still stuck to the wall. Pretty simple to get there, not too difficult. That's why I shot an arrow at that thing I jumped across on, because you might have to do that. I'd already done it, but you might need to do it. So coming back to the Mystic Gateway then, that's uh, just at the beginning of this area. There should be one that you have from the storyline, and then we're going to go through here to the canyon. So there's only a few collectibles in the canyons. There's three, there's two pieces of lore and a raven. So there's a treasure map. That counts as lore when you pick the treasure map up. Um... But uh, when you solve the treasure map, it counts as buried treasure, which we will say on the collectible list. But yeah, just bear in mind that the map pickup itself counts as a lore on the collectible list. Alright, so we destroyed those tentacle things there. And now we're getting Raven number four. You'll also have a cool little cutscene here with Thor's Wait, daughter, Lund. Is that... And she finds Mjolnir. Pretty cool. Well, good for her. All right. The raven is in this area, flying around just above you, though. So there we go. We got 17 of those in total. Although that's the fourth one in Alfheim that we've got. Again, if you're looking for anything in particular, if you're missing ravens, just look at the map, and then look at the area that you're missing them in. If you hover over the certain area, it gives you the list for that area. If you see ones that you're missing, you can go into the description and just have a look at the timestamps and figure out which one you need to go for or you know where you need to go exactly. Like I mentioned before, if you're watching the video where I've shown all of the collectibles in one video, you may need to look in the comment section. I'll pin... Here we go. Everyone's having a chat. Um, I'll pin the the timestamps at the top of the comment section so you can find them nice and easy. There is some kind of magic at work here. Regardless, it should make desert travel downright pleasant. Odds are I won't be able to fit all of the timestamps in the description because of a character limit, so you might need to look at the comment section if you're watching the video that shows every collectible. Head to the right here. How do you hope to find anything in all this? Perhaps we find a cave first to catch our bearings. And here's the cave we need to go into. It's the Barrens. You want to do this first because it sort of um, improves the visibility in the area when you do this favor. I think the favor is called the Song of Sands or something like that. And pretty much just getting through this area will complete it. I will show the final bit you need to do. Secret of the Sands, that's the one. One of the few remaining now that are barred from the temple. Perhaps we'll find Atreus's wounded animal down here. Lead the way, Kratos. 
I trust you to not get us lost on the ground. So, there are a few collectibles in this area, but when looking at the map, it tends to show um, the, the below, the burrows. It shows the wrong area when I look at the map, but I can't really do anything about that. There's only a few collectibles down here, though. So don't worry too much. I will show them all. It's easy enough to follow. Again, if you do look at it on the map, they'll all be listed properly in the timestamps. So we're going to have to defeat the enemies here. Once you've dealt with them, we're going to head down through this doorway we were just facing a second ago. And you've got this room. I'm pretty sure you get attacked again in here. Yeah, let's kill these enemies. So this is another rune reed we're going to need to climb up here to get anywhere near that. And once you're up here, there's a little ledge you can jump down on the side. But it has one of those shield things you need to kick off if you want to go and do that. There we go. And you can also destroy the tentacles from up here, which you want to do. There we go. We'll kick the shield down. Just provides a quicker way up. Then we can hop down and get the rune. There's also a little uh, red chest down here. Or a threat. Depends on the reader. Yeah, like I said, only a few collectibles in the... I think it's called the below this area. Sometimes when I look at the map, though, it shows the burrows, which is kind of weird, but not really a huge amount I can do about it. So we're coming up here, continuing along down this rope. We've got to do a little bit of back and forth here to this smash through some tentacles. Why wait until now to free? It was not a priority. We were too busy attempting to stave off Ragnarok to indulge in any desert dalliances. Shame. I imagine Atreus would have enjoyed a quest to free an injured enemy. Yes, he would have. I'm sorry. Right. I didn't mean to twist the knife. He did not. Atreus has chosen his path. I trust him to be safe. All the dialogue. Alright, so now when we're here, we need to throw the axe to get rid of these tentacles that we just jumped past a minute ago. And the Nornia chest is just down here, but we've got to uncover the seals to be able to get to them. Alright. Another one. You won't be able to open these gates until you've dealt with the enemies, so just deal with them. And then open up this gate. There we go. And that uncovers one of the seals, but let's go and unlock the others first because we won't be able to ring them all quick enough unless we've uncovered them all. So we need to go back up here. And now that we've destroyed those tentacles, we can take the different path by jumping back this way and then going forward where the tentacles were. To climb. Balder craved adventure, but with the words of the Norns repeating in my head. Your worry consumed you, as my rage once did to me. You overcame it, eventually. Thanks to Atreus and his mother. Yes. Perhaps right. if Odin had loved his children as much as he loved using them, both would still be with us. Okay, so open up the gate here and the chime you need to ring is just there so that's one of them second one is down here next to the chest the third one's just inside again next to the chest and there we go a little bit of a long-winded one to get but worth it in the end that one's given me a rage upgrade all right so you can see there the map showing the barons, even though I'm in the below. <clears throat> Not a fat lot I can do about that, though. I just kind of want to use it to show my position on the map. I know I'll keep repeating myself and I sound like a broken record, but if you're looking for something specific, just look at the timestamps in the description. They'll show everything you need. I guarantee, even though I mention looking at the timestamps a hundred times throughout this video, there's going to be someone in the comment section saying, I can't find this and... There's no timestamps. How do I do this? I'm just it's just going to be a big roll your eyes moment, but not a fat lot I can do about that. All right, so let's hop across right here. Although to be honest, when I make collectible videos, lots of people are just very thankful for me putting them together. I do get a lot of really nice comments when I make these kind of videos. 
So if you're one of those people, man, just know I appreciate you. All right, so we've come down here now. Uh, there's going to be a bunch of tentacles in a minute that we're going to have to deal with. I think there's some enemies here, though, so watch out for the enemies when you come into this area. I've probably edited that fight out. But, uh, yeah, you have to fight a few of the elves in that area. Watch out for them when you get to here. And then we're going to go through this crawl space. And this is where we can free the creature that's in this area. You need to do a little bit of work to get that done. We're going to hop down here. And then we need to destroy the pot that's blocking the way here. Let's go ahead and blow that up. Come back up. And then we can jump across here. Down the ledge. We've got to yeah, get rid of a few tentacles before we can save this creature. Yeah, yeah. Kill these little guys. Very annoying to deal with. So yeah, this area can be a little bit complicated because of all the tentacles. But uh, we'll get you through it, don't worry. So you've got to get th these three right here and you need to bounce the axe so that it gets all three like that. I really like that mechanic. It's a fun mechanic to play with. So that's the first set you want to do. And then we need to get rid of these ones as well. I'm pretty sure, yeah, I was trying to figure out how to do this for a second. But you need to spin this around. Excellent throw with the axe there. Right, there we go. And I think we need to get some height now before we can actually finish that one. So we need to backtrack a little bit and get rid of this pot. It's blocking our way. You have to look across the gap. There we go. Strange, that means more to me now than it did before he died. You've said it yourself. Atreus takes after his mother. All the chit chat. So that's where you can get those tentacles. Nice and easy. You gotta love it when you're trying to explain stuff and the NPCs start talking amongst themselves. They only seem to pop up when I need to explain something. Okay. Let's get rid of these enemies. Now that we've cleared out the tentacles, let's hop across this gap. Get rid of this guy. Yeah, you can just pretty much grab and throw these enemies. Gets rid of them quicker than pretty much anything else with the blades. There's a nest back here that we need to deal with. Let's go deal with that. And then we need to do some climbing. So we're working towards getting the legendary chest, which has the shoulder straps of radiance in it, so chest armor. This is the fifth legendary chest that's in Alfheim. All the way up. I think now is where we get to save the big jellyfish. Or Hafgufa. Whatever that is. Alright. So, as Mamiya just said, we've got to break these tentacles. So, from here, we want to break this part. All right, Freya. Thanks for the update. So, now we need to figure out where to throw the axe. I think we need to get rid of these ones first here. Yeah. So let's throw that down there, get rid of those. Hop across the ledge. And then we need to get rid of these ones. I think we need to find the right place to do that from, though. And it's not there. I think we need to bounce the axe here and then bounce it again. There we go. Loose, sorted but it can't seem to escape much of the hive matter is gone we can free it from the surface now so now that you've done that continue along our path we can finish up this favor as well when we're done with this area did they capture such a large one Hackers are known to burrow so i'd hesitate to place full blame on our dark elf friends even though it's bound by their hive hive matter doesn't belong to the dark elves any more than the light belongs to the light elves. It's just another of Alfheim's natural resources. One the elves have used since the time of their ancestors. And while the light elves seem keen to banish the hive over on their side, the dark elves make effective use of it out here in the barren. But if this is true, are we doing more harm than good by destroying this hive? You wish to leave the creature enslaved? No. 
Freya would have wanted us to do everything in our power to restore this realm. We will... Again, everybody talking at the same time. So there's the legendary chest we've been working towards getting. Bunch of hack silver in this area as well. Let's go ahead and get rid of the technical there and then we can hop up. And now we need to go and complete this favor. See, just going through that area does the majority of that favor. A lot of the favors in the game are like that, where you just kind of work through an area and it completes it while you're getting collectibles. So it's pretty straightforward. But still, I'm going to include it. You also get a trophy for completing both of the um, half goofa favors. Thanks, Freya. I appreciate your help. Useful commentary. All right, there we go. So that's a mechanic from the previous God of War. And there we go. You get a pretty cool visual here. Alright, so from there, let's head back to the sled. And we're gonna head and do the barrens now. I'm pretty sure that's just like the area around us, you know. You mentioned you had a favorite poem from your homeland. What was it about? A cunning general. A war over forbidden love. I believe I've heard of this one. Did it involve a horse that was not as it appeared? Yes. But that is not what happened. Oh, it's based on truth then. You were there. Yes. I prefer the poem. Right, so let's go ahead and squeeze through this gap. We're getting the fifth artifact that's in Alfheim. And we need to come in here. There's also a legendary chest in this room. I do not. I would prefer it remain that way. Alright, there we go. We need the axe here, and the blades out. Let's chuck it off that rock. You have to retrieve the axe at the right time here in order to cut the last uh, tentacle. So just be ready to press triangle, or if you're following this guide years in the future and you're on PC, whatever button retrieves your axe, just press it at the right time so that you can cut that last tentacle and get the legendary chest. All right, so let's go and do the second remnants of Asgard that Alfheim has. Again, this one counts towards the Baron's completion. So we kind of just need to move around the open area right now and kind of clean up the little pieces, but you can see a sort of weird rainbow cloud over there. Well, to begin with, it wasn't his first arrival. Visitors to Alfheim back in the dawn of realm travel. Hold. We will finish later. Yeah, so I actually got off the sled at a bad place here and had to run around a little bit, but that's okay. We'll get to it. I think I was trying to smash this also, but not sure if we can do that just yet. Let's go and come into here, and this is where we need to fight these guys. This is actually a pretty tough fight, so if you... Um, maybe not too much of a high level. Hopefully you don't struggle. But yeah, get both of those guys killed, and that's the remnants of Asgard done. I wonder how many of these fragments of Asgard there are. A realm's worth at least, so I'd say we have our work to fix I think there's like ten or something like that for you to get in total. You've also got a little red chest here for you to open if you haven't already. But so far we've done five of those, so we've done a good amount. Halfway through. Not bad, not bad. And there's a look at the map to show you where that one is. So next up, we've got a Berserker Gravestone. This one will give you the Berserker Curus, which is a decent Curus. Although this is a tough fight. This one took me a little while to get through. Um, I was having an extra long look around here. I don't know why, but we'll get to it. Taking a slow walk. I think that the total video, the video where I show all of the collectibles for this, is probably going to be like eight or nine hours. It's a very long collectible run so that's how you unlock this area to get that red chest if you want it you kind of need to throw the axe at the top one and then retrieve it at the right time to get the other two 
I like to get these though, because they give you decent components for upgrading your armor. Some of them are better than others. But luminous alloys and Asgardian ingots are the ones you want. So if I see one around a uh, Asgardian or a remnants of Asgard, I'll try to get them. But here's the Berserker Gravestone. Again, be ready for a tough fight. This one is one of the more difficult ones, if you ask me. Although I wasn't a very high level when I did this one. Because he's basically fighting three enemies there. All right. So that's how you get the Bizarre Kakuras. You also get a Frozen Flame for that one, which is really nice. That just kind of goes to show that it's a difficult fight. Depending on your level, though, it might be a bit easier for you. If you've leveled up a bunch, it might, be not, it might not be that tough. Right next to that as well, we've got a Law Marker, which is the Gulan Call. That's the third one in Alfheim. I think this music decided to carry on for some reason. I'll turn it down. Uh, but yeah, for some reason, the music was just going crazy in this area. Until I got into another fight. So apologies for that. Alright, Buried Treasure right here. This is the Vulture's Gold Buried Treasure. If you're looking for the solutions to those, if you look in the timestamps, I'll also show where you pick up the map and where you solve it uh, for each timestamp, just so you can go and find it quite easily. If you come here and the map's not here, uh, the treasure's not there, you're going to need to go and pick up the map first. So when you come up here, you're going to have to defeat a couple enemies. Again, I'm very sorry for the music. It wouldn't shut up. There's the rune. So lore marker. A little look at the map. I'm doing my best to turn these down while I'm watching this back because the music is really loud. I think because I was in the Berserker fight for a while, the music glitched and it just kept going on. Next up, we've got the seventh legendary chest of Alfheim. This is the Belt of Radiance. There you go. I could have just reloaded the game, but I thought I'd just continue on, hoping it would stop sooner or later. Also, we've got an artifact up here, which is the sixth in Alfheim. It's a Kavasia poem, right next to the legendary chest. There we go. Stupid music. All right. So next up, we've got the fifth raven. I think this one is just in the eyeball of the skull of this sort of bone structure that we're in right now. So if we come down here and head out. You can just chuck a spear into the eye and get it. It's right there. Nice and easy. Again, another quick look at the map. Alright, so next up we've got a Nornia chest. The fifth one in Alfheim. We've got a lot of these little areas with tentacles covering them. I decided to foot slap it here because it wasn't too far away. So, let's come over here. And we need to use the axe to get rid of these tentacles. There we go. Nice and easy. Now we got to go and get these seals. So I think you're good for this one just to use your blades. But there's a couple others that I'm pretty sure you've got to use the arrows for. And this stuff can be frustrating, man. It's not the easiest to do. Let's see. These ones actually might be easy to grab. I'm not sure. Maybe the third one. Yeah, here we go. Oh, no, we've got the pot up there. Yes, yeah, so we just use the spear or the axe, throw it into the pot, and you'll get that one. There's a couple in this area, though, that you've got to use the runic arrows for, and that can be a little bit frustrating. The music was really going all in right here. Music was having it off. All right. I really should have just turned the music down, but whatever. I'm just turning it down in my editing software, so it shouldn't be too loud. 
It's super loud without me turning it down, though. All right. So next up, we're doing another lore marker. There's a bunch of little collectibles in this area. It's kind of close to the one we just picked up. So you'll have some enemies in this area to deal with when you first come here. Be ready for a fight. Obviously, I've edited that out. There's the lore marker. Quick look at the map. Over in the corner of the barrens right now. Another artifact, it's a tribute to Freya. Let's take another look at the map. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this music went on until I got into another boss fight. Alright, there's the legendary chest then. The eighth one. Gauntlets of Radiance. And we've got another raven in this area, just on top of the tree. Nice and easy. Bunch of little collectibles in this area. I know it's tedious showing the map every few seconds, but uh, just in case anyone's using the timestamps, that's why I'm doing that. They might skip to this one and need to see the map, you know. But if for some reason you are using the timestamps and uh, you're missing something, just go ahead and skip forward a little bit or skip back watch the next couple of collectibles you'll get an idea of where you are i do do my best to show the map each time but i'm only human i might miss it at some point so also that one collectible we just picked up there was one of the dwarven pages Alright, so, gotta break this pot. All that's here is a red chest, I'm pretty sure. I was just kind of being thorough and trying to get them all. I don't know what I was doing here. I was kind of messing around, not using the axe. It's another one of those ones where you've got to retrieve the axe at the right time, maybe? Or have I got to go around the other side? Yeah, I think you've got to go around the other side. Trying to be thorough, getting some of these red chests, showing you how to do them. Don't really have to do this, though, if you don't want to. Okay, we can just get up here, get the red chest. A little bit of a time waste, so apologies for that. Let's see what we get. Dwarven steel slag deposits, not bad, not bad. I think we've got a drow coal coming up, so when I do this fight, the music might actually stop. Hopefully it does. Alright. There we go. Me of tales of a cruel empress, one too angry to die. We will see. I think that's the second drow hole that we've done in total, but the first one that's in Alfheim. There's a look at the map in case you're wondering where that is. You also get a chaos spark for doing those. You get six of those, and you'll get a chaos flame to upgrade the blades. It's actually kind of difficult to upgrade the blades to the full spec. I'm gonna go and open this door now. Someone he could wander with as never before. Wait, let us look this way. Much of the sand has been cleared away, but another storm rages beyond that pass, which must mean another half gufa. Alright, so doing all of this stuff will get you a trophy for free and both of the half goofers. Trophy's called Full Goofer, I think, or something like that. So, after opening that door, we're going to come all the way through here. When Freya and I traveled to this realm as children, the desert was healthy and full of life back then. I can't help but fear that era has ended for good and our efforts here are futile. It's a fair concern. 
feeling this land will take more than a pair of singing half -gupa. But I have to believe in the long run, we're doing right by Alpine. It's actually crazy that they've done so many voice lines for this game, because you can be here with either Atreus or Freya. Literally going to have to have done double the voice lines for this area, because you can come here with Atreus. Some areas you can only come to with Atreus, and some areas you can only come to with Freya. But you can do either, depending on when you come here in the game. The development that must go into these games is crazy. Hearing the song of the sands again is a rare privilege, even if it's only a solo act. Or a duet, once this half is free. Alright, so once you've got down here then, you're going to need to destroy that door with a sonic arrow. Hop across. Let's go down. So sonic arrows can open this stuff. You have to use another one to destroy that plating to get through. Alright, so once you get through here, hop across. Aye, and as far as the Dark Elves are concerned, it's that light column in the center of the temple that's the aberration. Just look at how old some of these surfaces are. Far older than the light well, or even our trap Ascapa for that matter. Well, dangle from a burly god's backside for a few winters, and you'll find yourself looking for all sorts of new perspective. Enemies to your left! Yeah, I do my best not to talk over the NPCs, because there's nothing more annoying than like four people speaking at once, so... I could turn them down, but I'll just let them talk at times. Right, after defeating them then, we're going to climb up. Hopefully he's still following me. Let's... When you come into this area, you're going to have some... Oh, here we go. Right, yeah, there's some enemies in this area when you first come in. And the rune reed is right there on the wall. Alright, so we're 61% through Alfheim, which is pretty good. Oh, this area isn't too big, the whole... Well, this realm isn't too much, to be honest. It's like, like I said, it's something like 70 or 80 collectibles in Alfheim. But the next one we're going to take on has way more. It's like, this is a... Uh, like an hour and a bit to get through Alfheim, whereas Vanaheim is like two hours or something. Actually insane. I could trim down certain parts of this. Yeah, you're going to need to open that up and use the axe to break the, the membrane. Yes, we're continuing. But uh, yeah, I try to be as accurate as possible and put detail into where you've got to go and stuff so there's no confusion. Alright, so this is a long way to go to get to the next collectible, but we're doing it. We're after getting the legendary chest for a light runic attack called Hell's Touch, and that one's for the axe. From a harsh I can up we go. And we need to hop up here just to destroy the membrane that's blocking our next way up. So, let's come up. And, yeah, chuck our axe right there. That opens up the path we've got to take, so now we've got to climb back down. You can hear the half goofer singing away, or trying to at least. Right. So now we can continue on. So that noise you can hear is one of those creatures that you've got to throw the axe at from behind. It's the only way you can kill them. Pretty sure it's below me right now. You get good loot out of those guys, so... It's not necessary, though. Doesn't count towards completion. I feel like the previous game had a lot more that counted towards completion. Like, it had all of the... the chests. That you had to get all of the red chests as well, whereas you don't have to on this game. Yeah, there's that little guy. You stand behind him and throw the axe. You'll, I guess you have to do it from above. You'll get a nice bunch of loot off him. 
Right, but now we're working on getting artifact number eight, which is one of the tributes to Freya. Coming up that area where we had to throw the axe a minute ago. And coming along this way, we've got some tentacles to destroy. So let's hop down and chuck our axe up here through these two. Sorted. Nice and easy. And now we can start working on getting the second half goof off. There we go. Well done. Now this guy's free. Hi. Back to the surface, then. So you pretty much have to do this stuff in order to get through this area in general. You've got an ogre type enemy down here when you drop down. Get rid of him and then used in many of Freyr's blessings, I imagine. There's the artifact. There's also a legendary chest right next to that. This one has a heavy runic attack for the blades, which is the Nemean Crush. Decent. Some hack silver there if you want it. Don't really get a lot of hack silver out of this area, but the next area we're going to go to in Vanaheim, that has a ton of hack silver in all of the chests, so you'll see me grabbing a lot more chests. So we're just working our way out right now. This is just going to complete the favor. Song of the Sands. was a blacksmith whose king commanded him to construct a box that could contain all the evils of the world. But no metal could hold such a power. So the blacksmith used the flame Kratos, of... is this a story meant to ease my grief? Perhaps it is just a story. A way to pass the time. I appreciate the sentiment, but... Well, your stories... What about my stories? I wouldn't exactly call them a comfort. Okay. Lemire is... Alright. So, still working our way up. So we need to move this uh, pedestal thing by coming up a little bit further. There's also a red chest here if you want to get it. So we need to... I think bounce the axe from a certain position so that it can yeah smash the membrane right there there we go you have to hit the stone and then the pendant first so that it can hit the membrane on the wall this area can be a little bit confusing but you've pretty much got to do it to get out anyway so we smash through this wall and i think now we're pretty much back where we started we just need to climb out Yeah, get rid of them, and then make your way out. And we can go ahead and complete this favor. So all the way up then. Nice and easy. Once you get up here, you can either take the sled or you can walk, it's up to you. You can just follow the goal tracker if you want to. Pretty sure I just highlighted it so I go to the right place. It's a little bit difficult to see, but it is just up here, so not too far to go. A lot of the mechanics from this game come from the first God of War, like this one. <coughs> I think people were annoyed about them reusing assets, but that really doesn't bother me. I just want continued storyline, you know? So there we go, that will get you your trophy. Full goofa. And then these two jellyfish will breed. And that, little boys and girls, is how jellyfish are made. <laughs> yeah, my dear brother learning to realm travel. You said he fell in love with his teacher. 
Yes, Gerd. Someone he could wander with as never before. So, wander they did, exploring the world tree from root to branch. But one day, it came time for Gerd to wander away. Enough talk for now. Yeah. Be ready. Kratos says be quiet. So we're coming into the Forbidden Sands. This is the seventh raven, raven in Alfheim, the first one of this area. Uh, we're just going to come down, and I'm pretty sure it's just floating around to your left, yeah. Some of these can be tricky to get, man. Definitely takes me a few throws to get them sometimes. First try. All right, let's go. So we've got 20, I think, now. Unless I'm reading that wrong in my blurry preview in my editing software. I really have to downgrade the the quality in order to, to see what's going on, but that's fine. The video will come out fine on YouTube. So throwing this in the right way actually took me a minute to figure out, but that's how you want to do it. And it's kind of cool to just stand here and watch this. It's like the axe is playing tennis or something. Freeway tennis. It's pretty cool to watch. All right, so now we need to use runic arrows in order to get these fires lit. And it can be a little bit difficult. There's the first one. There's the second. And we need to use the fire that's on the left in order to light this one. And uh, pro tip, if you shoot the same rune more than once in the same spot, the area gets bigger, which makes it easier to, to do this. You'll see me doing that a lot where I just make the ball that the rune makes a lot bigger. So you're using the fire you just lit in order to light the next one, which is behind this. There we go. Not an easy one to do. That one's kind of tricky. It took me a few attempts. But that's our sixth Nornia chests in Alfheim. Decent. All right, let's see what we got next then. Quick look at the map. And next up, we've got another artifact. This one's a tribute to Freya. I'm pretty sure we need to leave this area to get this one. Not a huge amount left of this area. This area is about an hour and 15, an hour and 20, and we're about an hour through or so coming up to that. Here we go. Back outside then. I think we need to go up top now. Just behind us sort of thing. Yeah, just up here. And there's the artifact. Put it on one of my horns. Let's see if I can pull it off. No. <laughs> All right. So, headed inside here then, there's a few little collectibles in the first area here, all kind of grouped together. This is for the favor the Elven Sanctum. When you come in here, it kind of just starts. An Elven library? An archive of knowledge. No sign of the Light Elves. What? There's a lore marker. The sixth one in Alfheim. That's where we are on the map. Okay, on this table, you've got a lore scroll. This one is an examination of temporal significance. Okay. Like I said, there's a few here all grouped together. I think one of the dwarven pages is in this area as well. Yeah, there it is. There we go. Two more of those to get. I think we get one more in this area, actually. I, I might be wrong. No, actually, I think... The third one I've gotten is in Vanaheim. Treasure map. Aye. This is kind of why I do these in a certain order. You want to get the map before you get the treasure, you know. Legendary chest right here. This is a jewel of Yggdrasil, which is an amulet fragment. So you get enough of these, you get a new amulet, which is decent. <clears throat> or is it an amulet slot? It probably is, right? So this journal here is the favor item for the Elven Sanctum. You want to pick that up. And when you leave, you'll get attacked, and that pretty much completes the favor. So just make sure you pick that up. Next up, we've got a lore marker. We're going to need to come down here to get that. It's just here. All this knowledge of their ancestors, their shared history, poetry, Okay, so now we're going to go and get this favor completed. We just need to leave, and once you leave, 
uh, an elf will attack you and you're going to need to beat them in order to complete the favor. So just go towards the door, try and open it, and you'll get attacked. Ah, it appears the librarian would like a word. Lata Thamborg. Sounds like she wants that journal back. No. <laughs> no. She thinks she's protecting them by hiding all this knowledge away. The elves do not need protection from their history. They need access. A new chapter awaits. He lets her live. I'm impressed. Thought you were going to end her. When last we traveled here, after Faye passed, I killed an elf of great importance. The ramifications were dire for his people. I do not wish to make the same mistake twice. All right, and that completes the Elven Sanctum. Now we're moving on to go and get this treasure map, the Forgotten Tower. Yeah, we may have passed this area earlier, but this is why we kind of leave it so we get the map before we actually complete it. I think I sped this area up just because I ended up running when I probably should have got on the sled. We're just coming all the way over here. The sled does follow you, though, so if you want to get on it, you can. We're just going to come down here. It's pretty much just to the right of where we were going anyway. So, hop up, smash for wheel, you got some enemies to fight, get rid of them, and the buried treasure is just to the left of the area you jump up from, like sort of over there on the left you can see the gold flash, there we go, easy. Treasure map complete. All right, so that'll get you an amulet enchantment. So we're going to come through here and squeeze through this gap in the wall. And this will get us another artifact, another of the tributes to Freya. There's also an Yggdrasil rift up here. There we go. That'll complete the artifact set as well. And to access the rift, defeat the enemy, and then reach into the rift to get it complete. Easy. So yeah, I think that's the only one in Alfheim. Now we're going to go and do Raven number 8, so heading back the way we came. All the way down here. Let's go chuck our axe at things. Hop in the sled then. I think you can kind of see it in the distance. Ah, no, we're coming back to that one. Yeah, it's just flying around here. Hold. Let us search this area. He's always taking me loads of throws to get. But there it is, that's 21 of the ravens now. I think there's 48 to get. Alright, so... Kind of a little puzzle with these crystals. I bet you, if you played the previous game, I bet you thought you were done with these crystals. But nope, they found a way to sneak them in, man. Just in this one little area for some reason. So I'll take that one out and drop it. I think I probably could have done this puzzle a little more efficiently, but... No, it still got done, it doesn't really matter. Essentially, we just need to light these things on the side, but we need to break these tentacles. There we go. This statue may have survived Freya's absence, but a truce clearly did not. Monuments are useless to those who ignore their message. He didn't create a truce through diplomacy alone. His god, his very presence, is what healed this land and allowed peace to take root. Doing that will drop another crystal. He had to have known what would happen. Well, he had good reason to leave. Some jackass convinced his sister to marry a madman. 
Here we go. So let's bring this crystal up. And I'm pretty sure this is we well, yeah, you need to do that to solve the puzzle pretty much. You need to take one of these up top and use another one to light this bridge. So grab the crystal you put down. You're gonna need to put this crystal down again, I think. I'm pretty sure like I said, I probably could have done this a little more efficiently, but it doesn't really matter. So let's take this one up here and drop it in the slot. Yeah, you've got to do either side of this thing. Crystals contain their own life. Yeah, right. Normally we'd have to provide our own. Perhaps slotting a crystal on the opposite side could shed some light on this mystery. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you said it, Freya. <laughs> uh, terrible pun. All right, so there's a membrane that we need to break here in order to get this done. So you're going to, I think, need to have this bridge down. Yeah, so I came over here and took this one back out. Yeah, I, I took a stone out of this at the beginning, and you don't need to do that, but I didn't really take it very far, so it doesn't really matter. Right, so yeah, you need to use the axe to break the membrane. And you need to be quick about this, because the membrane does reset. So throw the axe and then run and put the crystal back in. And, and then slap the other one in up top of this bridge. Aye, nothing reminds people of their history like chiseled, well-lit marble. There we go. Sorted. like we can read the inscription now as well let's go ahead and grab that Life from the crystals. that'll give you a folk vanga whetstone which is an upgrade for freya but we haven't got the sword that that upgrades yet but still it's good to have them <laughs> all right let's get the law marker that's just in front of us that one's the enlightened one. All right. Very nearly done with this area. We've got around eight minutes or so. Not many left to get it all now, but let's go and do the desert door favor. I'm pretty sure this is one of the last things we do. But we've got to collect a couple of things to actually do this. So we need to use the crystal and put it back over here. Just one of the crystals will do. And that'll light up the bridge so we can leave. So let's get out of here then. Even when Freya was actually here, the peace was fragile. Surely a bit of extra light in the desert isn't enough to make it last. Be why, my Fay. I could not imagine a life of peace. After her death, in our travels to Jotunheim, I found peace on my own. It remains my responsibility to make it last. I only hope his guidance will last. Okay, so there's a half of the key we need to open the desert door. And then we're going to come over here to our right, and this is where we can get the flower that's in Alfheim. There's one of these in each of the realms. There we go, that's two of nine so far. Very nice. All right, so now that you've done that, let's hop up here. And I think there's some sort of stone you can get to revive these trolls. I haven't found it yet myself, but I'm sure I'll get to it. Yeah, I'm sure I'll find that relic at some point. I haven't completed all of the realms yet, so... I'm sure I'll find it. You get to fight these guys. You probably get some sort of reward for doing it. There we go. Beautiful, beautiful. Another raven. So let's go do this Nornia chest. So we're just cleaning up the Forbidden Sands now. On we go. It would not go well for them. 
Once a predator becomes accustomed to a land, it is cruel to move them. I suppose you're right. It just seems lonely out here. It is peaceful. They have each other. It is enough. All right, there's one of the seals, or the fires. We're going to need to use the arrows to get these ones. This one's quite easy, to be honest. There we go. Simple. This last one can be a bit finicky. Because it's quite high up. You've got to use the technique I was talking about before, where you keep shooting in the same place to make the runes bigger. That's how I got it done. But whatever works for you. Yeah, did not want to work that time. Kind of on a time limit with this. But that's good enough. Those two were good enough for me. There we go. Alright, so that's all three of the seals. Let's go get the chest open. Get our upgrade. Sorted. Very nice. Alright. So, quick look at the map. Only a few minutes left of this video. Let's get it done. Got a legendary chest to go and do now. This gives us the hardened war handles, which is for the blades. Okay. love to breed Gulan pups in Vanaheim. I wonder if these two are the descendants of the Gulan who brought here long ago. That explains how they got to the desert. Another gift for the Dark Elves. Alright, so what happened in here? You'll have some enemies to deal with probably in this area. Yep. Let's get rid of them. That one f got stuck behind the tentacles there and ended up just dying. I guess it was some sort of bug. Right, we need to chuck the axe there and then we need to burn the brambles off this pendant on the right. This is how I managed to get it done. Sorted. And then we need to turn this thing. Okay, there we go. And then... That's how you destroy the tentacles. So we can get this legendary chest. Sorted. Is that number 12? 12 legendary chests in this area so far? Alfheim does have a bunch of them. So next up we've got another Berserker Gravestone. Let's go and head towards that. It's just to the right of the area we're in. Okay, let's defeat these guys. After you do the fight where you're fighting two or three of these guys, every time you fight one, it just doesn't feel like a challenge when you're fighting that fight where there's three of them. So much more difficult. Sorted. Quick look at the map for you there. Alright. So, back to the sled then. And this is one of the key halves that we get for the desert door. And you'll have noticed... Oh, here we go. Ever try flying in a sandstorm? I imagine Freyr showed the Dark Elves that Gulan could be trained to pull a plow. They must have found new... Yeah, everybody wants to talk when I need to explain stuff. Fantastic! Essentially, though, there are more of these blue things you can see on the floor. And they do have items on them, but only two of them have the key halves that we need. So we'll go, the specific two that I go to will have those key halves. The others just have, like, upgrade, upgrades and resources on them. If you want to grab them, that's up to you. All right, so i got a raven here just sitting on this rock. Very nice. 
Okay, so we've got another artifact now, another one of Kavasia's poems. Okay. They are getting back to your brother learning to realm travel. I take it the romance with his teacher ended poorly. It did for him. Freya was heartbroken and resolved himself to perform some great feat to win her back. Good. Another time. We must focus. I wish you had a button to make Kratos say that. Just to make people stop talking. Like if you wanted, but obviously games aren't developed around the guides people are gonna make for them, so <laughs> you know. You just gotta deal with it. Freya, getting back to your brother. Here we go. <laughs> And how did it end up with him being worshipped in Alfheim? Well, Freyr thought big. He set his aim on the grandest of gestures. He intended to be the first to find the elusive sword of Bifrost Light. Not now. There we go. So, coming over here. Now we got both halves of the key. If we interact with this door, Something that'll bring out one of these drakes. Yeah, that's all the collectibles in Alfheim after this one. That's everything done. You should have 100% now. Very nice. Your guess is as good as mine. Imprisoning a drake. I can't decide whether to be impressed or horrified. Either way, it is over now. There we go. I hope that the video has helped you out. Let me know if it has. It's gotten you your 100% in Alfheim. I'll be coming out with the rest of the realms real soon. If they're already out, I'll link them all together. Um, yeah, thank you all very much for watching. Let me know in the comment section if the video helped you. If you want to support me, likes and subscriptions, all that good stuff, I greatly appreciate it. If you want to go a step further, there's always memberships. And uh, yeah, I also stream on Twitch. If you want to come and follow me over there at twitch.tv slash Have yourself a fantastic day. And until next time, take it easy.